Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Two Step Tuesday where I learn something new and show you guys how to do it in two minutes or less. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to loop your power steering rack to essentially convert it into a manual steering rack. This can be done on almost any power steering rack. You just have to have the right parts. The power steering rack that I'm going to be working on today is out of my 1993 Honda Civic EG hatchback which is under the cover just behind me over here. I'm currently building this car as my project. I'm building the motor as we speak. I'm making videos on it so if you guys want to check out those videos feel free Free, they'll be on my channel. Before we start the timer, you might be wondering what are some benefits of doing this? Well, A, you don't have to buy a new manual steering rack if you're trying to go manual steering rack. B, manual steering racks are oftentimes a slower ratio than power steering racks, so therefore you still keep a nice quick ratio while having a clean, reliable manual steering rack. And one last thing very quickly before we get into the video, I will be giving away an entire year of YouTube revenue sometime in October of 2020, so the only way that you guys can win is if you're subscribed. And that's the only thing that you have to do to have a chance to win. So please click that subscribe button and get yourself a chance to win a year of YouTube revenue. And with all that being said, the timer starts now. First things first, I gotta give a huge thank you to 16 Motorsports for sponsoring this video. You can check them out at valixracing.com and use my coupon code BOOSTED5 for 5% off any of their products. If you're interested in doing this job, please go through them because the more people that use my coupon code, the more inclined they're gonna be to help me out in the future. If you're supporting them, you're supporting me. Here's everything you're gonna need to do this job outside the car. I'll be explaining what everything is going forward in the video. The first step is obviously to remove all the old fittings and all the old lines. If you're doing this with the steering rack in the car be sure to just disconnect the lines and you can pretty much discard them so i'm just going to go ahead and loosen these hose clamps with a 10 millimeter socket and then just remove the hose all together this fitting was a 17 millimeter fitting this one was 14 millimeters and this last one was 12 millimeters but not every honda steering rack has this one so if yours doesn't then don't worry about it next you're going to want to make sure that there is power steering fluid inside your steering rack this method right here is just the easiest way that i found to do it now this is where you have a couple options i'm going to go ahead and choose to block off off that third port just for now using a dash 3 an cap and this 12 millimeter by 1.5 fitting that i'm going to go ahead and wrap in teflon tape so that it doesn't leak any power steering fluid now once you screw the fitting into the port the other option is to go ahead and use a piece of hose to vent this port instead of capping it off some people have found problems when you cap it off i'm going to test it out and see if it works for me if it doesn't then i'll just vent it here are the two dash six an fittings that come with the kit notice they have crush washers i'm not going to be using the crush washers today because I'm going to redo this whole job in my own time, you would want to make sure that you use them. Now you do not have to use Teflon tape here because the crush washers will make a good seal on their own. The fittings are different sizes so you can't really mess it up. They go where they're supposed to. And here's the super high quality dash six and line that you're going to be screwing onto those fittings that you just inserted in the steering rack. Once you snug down these lines, you can play with the positioning a little bit and voila, a beautiful looped power steering rack that has now been converted to manual steering. So guys, that concludes this week's episode of Two Step Tuesday. I hope you guys learned something new because I definitely did. Also, I'm sorry I'm squinting. It's super bright outside right now. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please click that like button and that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And like I said, if you're interested in anything Honda related, anything car parts, anything fittings, anything lines an related please check the link in the description at valixracing.com and use my coupon code boosted5 for five percent off i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and as i always say remember to plan commit execute and attain your goals bye guys